going into uncharted territory for round four of the FIM Hard Enduro World Championship. For the first time in series history, we fly across the pond to a race that's all the rage in the USA, the Red Bull Tennessee Knockout Extreme Enduro, also known as TKO. Only a week after conquering the vertical madness of Red Bull Romaniacs, your favorite hard enduro heroes will take on the 11th edition of this hard-hitting three-day event. TKO is a multi-round knockout format, and each round is different. The riders race against the clock in some, head-to-head -head in others, and they do so on extremely difficult terrain. Day one consists of a prologue, complete with a qualification hot lap for all amateur riders to determine the day two starting positions. Don't get out. The second day of racing is all about male and female amateurs and pro female riders. 400 competitors will enter the two round format. The best 30 have the opportunity to move on and ride side by side with the pre qualified pros on the final day of racing. I can't stop On day three, it's a full-on extreme enduro explosion with multiple races on both mind-boggling long and short courses. The morning's knockout race one will see many riders start, but only 25 will make their way to the afternoon's knockout race two. Then it will end when the top 15 riders come in swinging for the insane final knockout. You may run for a long time. Run on. Many of the top international riders have competed in the Red Bull Tennessee knockout in the past. Mm -hmm. Germany's Manny Lettenbickler won the 2019 TKO over Spain's Mario Roman and South Africa's Wade Young. But 2021 brings all the hard enduro heroes here together for the first time to see who will truly dominate. That's all, son. You will knock no more. You may run for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Find out which heavy hitter will take the TKO title and the top FIM points at the Red Bull Tennessee Knockout only on Red Bull TV.